kaunti ya Embu sasa inadai kuwa haitolipa madeni ya shilingi milioni 954.3. Hii ni baada ya kamati uchunguzo madeni hayo kubaini kuwa madeni hayo kali ya kati kati ya shilingi bilioni 2.3 ambazo serikali ya kaunti ilirithi kutoka kwa serikali iliyoondoka ilikuwa kinyume na sheria. Kulingana na gavana Cecily Mbarire, kandarasi hizo zilikosa udhibitisho kamili. Gavana Mbarire amedai kuwa maafisa wa kaunti waliohusika katika kutoa kandarasi hizo watawajibika kujibu maswali hayo. Hata hivyo gavana huyo amedokeza kuwa serikali ya kaunti hiyo italipa tu shilingi milioni mbili ya madeni siku chache zijazo. Projects that cannot be paid because either um, there was no documentation, the files had nothing, upon physical verification and site visits, it seen there's no work, or they were stalled and the contractor ran away and has not been seen. Some had even been paid more money than the works they had done. And it's coming to 954,384,671. That is 57.51% of those bills are ineligible. Pending bills worth 705,216,250 representing 42.49% of the Kenya shillings, 1.6 billion pending bills were found eligible for settlement. So out of the 1.6 billion worth of pending bills, the only eligible bills that we are going to pay is 705,216,250. This excludes the legal department bills whose bill of course were not availed for scrutiny and they were provide and whatever was provided were excessively charged. Um, staff emolument arrears which we inherited was 532,699,860. And this was money that was deducted from staff emoluments but was never remitted to the relevant institutions. Whether it's the banks, pay as yuan, NHIF, NSSF, that had not been paid. So that uh, we've been able to pay up to 372 million. And uh, 372 million, 331,535 has already been paid out. So the amount that we are leaving now as a balance for staff emolument that has not yet been remitted is 160 million, 368,325. To anybody who wants to work with Embu County government, will provide equal opportunities for everybody to do business with Embu County government. But going forward, to imagine you can have a shortcut to getting a job should come to an end. Everybody must follow the procurement processes that are required by law. And you must not engage in any work until you have a letter, an award letter, an LPO, a contract signed with the county government before you engage in any work. Number two, you must do quality work. And I'm also urging the Department of Public Works, when you are developing BQs for these projects, you must be as detailed as possible. To say that uh, some money was spent on various roads in Evurore, which is one of the issues we have noted here, and you're not stating the road, you're not even stating the number of kilometers. You're not stating the quantities of maram that will be used on that road. It means you're leaving a lacuna for anything to happen. Because there's no way to confirm whether a certain job was done or not. And if it was, to what extent. So I'm asking all the contractors, please come knowing that going forward, work must be done and done well.